Hey guys, Bearded Beast of Duloc here. The topic for this video is suboptimal programs or why does everything seem to work for muscle building? It's a very good topic, but before I dive in, I want you to check out this video I did on yearly muscle gain expectations for natural uh, muscle building. Now, um, the question once again is, why does everything seem to work? Why do all muscle building programs seem to work? And does it even matter what I do? Well, guys, you will probably learn if you stick around this channel long enough that I tend to focus uh, beginners, intermediates on full body approaches. And then, you know, as they transition their training, um, you know, maybe, you know, into an intermediate using uh, upper lower splits, that sort of thing. I tend to not recommend super elaborate, you know, body part splits simply because I don't think natural lifters need them. So, the question is, why does everything seem to work? Well, this is very important. There are pillars in muscle building that if you have in place, you're going to make gains, such as consistency, such as a, a, a very good diet or eating plan, uh, progression of weight or getting stronger over time, pillars like that. Um, another one is the use of really good tools, exercises, compound lifts, the big, you know, the big muscle building lifts. If you have all these pillars in place, you know, you're training hard, you're using the right exercises, you're eating properly, you're not missing workouts, you are going to build muscle no matter what program you're on, you're on no ifs, ands, or buts. <clears throat> here's where the, um, here's where the uh, magic comes in, folks. The numbers, let's say, uh, let's say a natural on an optimal, optimal muscle building plan, his first year gains 16 pounds of muscle, okay? The next year he gains eight, the next year he gains four. So that's uh, 28 pounds of muscle in his first three years. That's a lifter using an optimal program, guys. Now, Mr. Suboptimal comes in and does whatever, makes up his own workout. It's got all kinds of nasty kung fu and all kinds of weird stuff in there, but he still uses uh, some pretty good exercises overall, maybe 75% good exercises. He eats right, he stays consistent, and he gets really strong. Mr. Suboptimal might only make 75% of the gains of Mr. Optimal, but if you look at those gains over the same three-year period, they probably equate to a 20-pound muscle gain. Um, it's not, he's, he didn't gain as much as Mr. Optimal over here, but he still gained about 75%. And guys, Mr. Suboptimal over here had about 20 pound muscle gain. That's a substantial amount of muscle, even though he wasn't training optimally. Now, of course, we're speaking in theory here, but I'm doing so just to give you an idea of why everything works. Even, you can... If you train suboptimally, you're going to look like you're training optimally because 20 pounds of muscle really adds an incredible amount to your physique. So guys, that is why even suboptimal training looks like it is the most effective training in the world. You will pack on muscle mass if you have the basic pillars of muscle building in place. It might look optimal. But guys, even though it's a lot of muscle mass, there's still a more optimal way to train out there. So guys, I hope this has explained, um, explained the question. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any video suggestions for the Bearded Beast of Duloc guys, please leave them below. And as always, guys... Please subscribe to the Bearded Beast of Duloc, kids. The Bearded Beast of Duloc, who wants you to train optimally, kids. Have a great day, guys.